Hi, I'm starting a DSS series in which I'm going to talk about all the relevant tips and techniques that people use in order to ace in their coding competitions. Um, I don't know why people always talk about these things, but they never share what these things are and how to actually implement them. So let's start this uh, series from the first technique, which is sliding window. Data structures and algorithms are very, very important part of passing technical interviews they are always asked whether uh, you are applying for a software engineering job or an ai job or xyz so in order to master them it's mandatory but how to master them by using these uh, coding techniques so let's start with first technique which is sliding window okay so what is sliding window sliding window is very simple if um if you see here there's a there's a string uh, of characters okay we have a a b a b c a b c okay now one way of traversing on this whole string is uh one by one okay like one by one you have to traverse them now if let's say you have a question that you have to count all the substrings of size three that contains unique characters what this means that let's say this is a substring of three size this is a substring of three size this is a substring of three size okay so you have to count from this till here and you have to find out whether in a substring of size three all the characters are unique or not if they are unique you have to count them if they are not you just have to ignore them and move forward so what is one way of de dealing with this question the naive way can be that you simply come here and what you can do you can start from this position okay this very position and then you look at these two things okay once you are done with this then you move here and you look at these two characters then you move here and you look at these two characters and then you move and look at these two characters and so on and so forth till you reach here okay the problem with this approach is that um, you are repeatedly uh, looking at things that you have already previously looked at for example when you started here you already looked at these two values now if you will again come here you have to look at these two values again which you have already looked at previously so what is a better approach of dealing with this question the better approach is by using the sliding window and how does this work the sliding window concept is pretty simple what you have to do you have to make a window this is a window size okay now in the step one what you will do you will start from here and you will look till here okay let's say this is a step one okay now in the step two what you will do you will simply move your window here how by eliminating this character and adding this character to your window again how you will how you are going to move your step from in step one you looked at these three things but uh, just by sliding your window you are ignoring this character and just looking at this one so you don't have to look at these two characters again because you have previously looked at them then this will be our step two in the step three what we are going to do we are simply going to move our window and in step four again we are going to move our window the process will be same ignore the previous one and add the new one simple as that why it is efficient because we don't have to look at all the items that we have previously seen before which we were doing in the previous approach so this is a pretty efficient approach now let's see if we have to count uh, and we have to mention here like whether there are all unique characters in a substring or not how we can do this again move this window from here so you looked at these three uh, characters and you found out okay so 
these three characters are not unique because a is repeating two times so you moved ahead and then you saw okay these three characters are also not unique because a and a are repeating then you move ahead and you saw like th these three characters are also not um, unique because b uh, b's are repeating two times then you move forward and you saw okay here's a unique part what what is happening is that here is a here is b and here is c all three characters are unique so what you will do you will just increase your count okay by one so now what you will do you will further move your window ahead and you will see here now what you looked at is that here you have b c and a again all these three characters are unique for this window just for this window these three characters are unique b c and a so what you will do you will come here and you will increase the count okay one plus one means two so there are two substrings at the moment till now which are completely unique if we look at them uh, from just by three window so let's move our window ahead and when we will look here in this substring we will again find that c a and b these three characters are unique okay so again what we will do we will come here and increase our count by three okay so uh, like we will increase our count by one but the total count will be three two plus one equals to three and then what we will do we will further move our uh, window here and here what it will become a b and c again if you look at these three uh, character strings you will find out that a b and c are unique so what we will do again we will come here and we will update our count with one so the total count will become four so this is how sliding window works let's solve one question which we just saw here on our lead code this is very important uh, lead code is the most important thing if i will say for coding interviews especially if you are a beginner and you are applying for entry level technical jobs and you want to work in software in software engineering jobs you want to work in software industry whether it's product or service if you want to get into technical role you have to master lead code so this is one technique that can really help you in acing uh, such type of questions where you can apply this sliding window logic so come here so um here is this lead code uh, question the question number is 1876 okay substrings of size 3 with distinct characters distinct means unique so we have to find out uh, how many substrings of size 3 are present with unique characters okay all the characters in the three window should be unique and how we can code it simply okay so let me uh, yes so here what we first need to do if you look at here you will see that okay we have this string and here the output is one why because if you look at here these three characters are only unique if you move the window ahead the uh, z is repeating two times if you move the window furthermore z is again repeating two times and if you move the window furthermore till the very last you will see z is repeating two times okay so how to approach this question let's first in, uh, initialize a variable with the name count and the value will be zero <coughs> okay and then what we have to do we simply have to create a for loop if you are new to python what for loop will do for loop will allow us to traverse to travel on this string one by one okay so for i in range and then we said okay what the range is going to be okay range simply means that it will uh, this function will create an will create you can say um a list of z uh, a list of num numbers starting from zero if we will not mention anything as a start so what will happen let's say if i'll write down five here so what will happen this range function will create numbers 
like this 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 but in range uh, the last number is excluded so we will not include 5 so here uh, the number will start from 0 till 4 so what we need to do here we have to dip we have to here use a function called length and length will return the number of characters in a string okay or in a container for example like list or a tuple or or you can say dictionary okay so here i will say s so here s is a string so it will return the length of a string if it was dictionary it would have returned the length of uh, like the number of keys so here is length of s and then what we will do we will minus 2 why because we want to use sliding window and when we will reach here we don't want our window uh, when we will reach here we want to see till here we don't want to move furthermore so that uh, python will give us uh, like out of range error so we don't want to experience that part so that's why we will stick till here and then we will uh, by being here we will see this this character and this character okay so that's why i'm eliminating i'm eliminating the last two ones and then i am using the colon so what we'll do uh, what it will do like for example here there are six characters x y z c a z okay six characters so it will return here six and minus two so six minus two means four so if you count zero one two three ali why not four because as we mentioned earlier the last number that will be here will be excluded so it will create a range from 0 till 3 okay but it, uh, how many times it will uh, iterate for one like uh, for the zeroth position then first position then second position and then third position in python indexing starts with zero okay so now what we have to do we have to mention the criteria on which we will check whether our window of size 3 is containing unique characters or not okay and how we can do this we can simply initialize length again we want to see the length of characters but and in inside we will use a function called set and what set will do set will simply initialize set will simply type cast our string into a set okay and what kind of a string we want so we are using i i simply means the index uh, on which our for loop uh, it will traverse like uh, first it will be zero then one then two and then three okay so one by one this uh, i uh, basically is a variable variable is simply you can say a sticker behind the scenes the number will get updated so i colon i plus 3 why plus 3 because um let's say on the zeroth position what will happen 0 plus 3 means 3 and again in slicing in windows when we are slicing the last element is excluded so what will happen that from 0 comma 1 and then comma 2 so from 0th position till the second position all the elements will come here and then set function will be applied and what set will do set will basically the, this is a property of set that set only contains the unique characters so it will eliminate all the repeating ones so this is how we will check uh, that uh, whether there are you, uh, there are repeating characters in our substring and using set we will eliminate them and then we will count the length of our substring so our set so what will happen that when unique characters will appear let's say in this case scenario where the substring is z a z so one z will be eliminated so the length be will become two and then we will simply 
compare it with three because we want to add only those substrings that contains unique characters and are of size three then we will press enter and what we will do whenever we will in whenever we will come across such a substring that is of size three and contains all the unique characters we will update our count with one okay this plus equals to simply means that update the count variable by using the previous value of count and then uh, adding one to it okay so you can write this or you can write this okay and then simply finally we are returning the count why let's say uh, it will traverse till here and till uh, traversal till this position uh, it never found any substring of size 3 that contained unique characters so what will uh, return by default it will return 0 okay and if we run this code okay it is checking all the test cases for us and voila so these two cases are accepted and now if i click on submit make sure before submitting that you are satisfied with your code because when you will click on submit it will uh, run your code on all the test cases and here my code has been accepted okay so uh, this was a short tutorial on sliding window this was the question the first question that we did on sliding window uh, tomorrow i will share another question uh, having sliding window approach that you can solve it by having sliding window by using it and hopefully uh, with uh, around four to five questions you will get a mastery over uh, sliding window approach and of course practice makes a man perfect so as much as you will practice sliding window approach you will get better to it so i'll see you tomorrow but before leaving i just want to share this uh, github repository that i have created for solving lead code questions using python and here is the uh, folder which contain this readme where i have not only uh, shared the code but also i have created this nice gif uh, visual when you will uh, click on run it it will show you step by step how the uh, how the window will move okay so you can uh, go ahead check it out read it and hopefully by using the textual knowledge you will get a much better idea how this approach works um, don't forget to start this repository um, i look forward to continuously keep pushing uh, good questions to it that belongs to uh, dsa techniques and hopefully they will help you master these techniques and ace your technical interviews so i'll see you in the next video till then take care have a nice day bye